Mm. Alright, so yeah, this is my pitch for my film opening idea, Who Will Save the World? So basically, it's about two police officers who used to be the country's heroes, like in terms of the police force, but after like a huge setback, um, they hit rock bottom, and now, can they save the world from extinction? And obviously there's loads of like, twists within that. So, mine is, at the moment is a comedy horror, and that's usually a spoof of a horror movie, over-exaggerated violence, source of fear, um, characters, behaviour, so that would be the comedy side of it, and then love interest for the main character. In this case, I'm using each other as a love interest, so like, throughout the, the film, you'd see the love for the two men together, and uh, they're not gay, but it's just like their, their friendship the is so strong. They're bromance. Um, yeah. So the opening scene, I'll read it out and I'll explain a bit more. So the film will start with a moving camera of continual flashback of when they were the police officers. The camera will originally be on the main characters, Dan and Jake. The first shot will be filmed from the back of a uh, moped. The camera will be in front of the two of them on the motorbikes. After a few seconds of filming them from in front, they will overtake the moped camera. The next shot will be character Dan running after a criminal and then tackling the man to the floor. We'll then see both characters in combat with another criminal, then they'll shortly both have the men on the floor and they'll high five over the bodies to show the comradeship shared between them. Uh, each small scene will be one shot as the camera is always moving on to the right and the last shot of the opening scene we will see them now sat on the sofa smoking and watching TV. This last shot will be a long shot with the two men in the centre of the scene um, and this will show their surroundings. So yeah, basically what's happened is we're seeing them at the start where they were these super cops and we don't actually see how they got to like the stage they're at now but basically that will be um, portrayed in flashbacks throughout the film. So if I was to make the whole film, I'd have like, as we've, someone may mention what happened in, in the last scene where they couldn't actually get the criminal and then that would just send them into a flashback and that's how it would be. So in the opening scene you won't actually know how they got to hit rock bottom. So the plot, that's basically a lot of what I just said, um, yeah, basically just covered that one. And that's just about their approach to life, and that's the comedy side of it which comes in, and how casual they are, and how character Dan is sort of uh, superior to Jake, and they sort of lean on each other to survive. Narrative techniques, camaraderie between the partners, suspense of their success, and foreshadowing the future. So the camaraderie between the partners, as I said before, it's like they're really strong bro-nouncers since they have. And it's just we want to see what else, the sort of comedy that they create between the two of them, and like what else we see that they're going to do. Suspense of their success, this is the main plot of the film, which obviously I won't have in my opening scene. But that would be whether they can save the world and sort of where that's going to go on that journey. And then foreshadowing the future, that's sort of like how we're going to get to know what's going to happen next. So that should be my narrative techniques. So my character Dan, as you can see, I've inspired him from the, the good police officer at the start of the other guys, the, the film The Other Guys, and he's early 30s, as of now unemployed and smoker, and he's sort of the stronger guy who's, um, as I say, superior to Jake. And again, in the main film, you'd see how traumatised they both are from their past. So obviously, again, I've used Jake is a smoker, but he's obviously the one with lower self-esteem and again traumatised by his past. And yeah, he's like Ed of Sean of the Dead, so he actually keeps the comedy going throughout the film, but then he's also has pretty low self-esteem about his weight and stuff. So yeah, that's them in terms of appearance. The extras, there'll be a couple scenes in my opening scene where you can't really see their faces because they'll just be like hooded youths, I would call them in the script, but they'll basically just be um, the criminals that the two police officers would be attacking. So obviously in the last scene when I'm on sofa, it should be those two. So that's the sort of look I'm going for for my extras. And locations, I'm thinking a really messy apartment, just one sofa in the apartment, just mess all around. And then that sort of terraced housing or skyblock. And this is just uh, ideas for titles which <laughs> I'm going to that one out of the three, but yeah. Okay, so, the other guys, Zombieland, Shaun of the Dead, and Superbad, where I got my inspiration for this from. So, from the other guys, I've taken the police officers at the very start, 
and the, co the camaraderie and the comedy created by the two of them. From Zombieland, I've still got the idea of zombies. The Zombieland idea is mainly for the rest of my, the rest of my film. You wouldn't see much taken from Zombieland in my opening scene. Shaun of the Dead, I've mainly got the camera angle from that. The fact that at the start of the opening scene it's continually tracking and the camera doesn't stop moving, that's the main part I've got from Shaun of the Dead. And Superbad, I've only got one character and that's McLovin. So the character of McLovin I put into a bit of my character of Jake, the one with low self-esteem. So yeah, that's my inspiration. <laughs> Can we give some feedback, please? Yeah, I thought it was like really good. I like kind of original, been done before, I guess, but yeah. I like the like the spin you put on it. Have you thought about what actors you're going to get? Because obviously, you've got at least like five different actors. Yeah, with actors, I'm thinking, for my main two, I've got those, because um, I'm going to film in Bristol, because there's more places to film there. So with my actors, I'm going to have to have them as 30-year-olds, because obviously that's how I scripted them. But finding actors for my extras shouldn't be too hard, because obviously, as I said, they'll mainly be called as hooded youths. So I'm going to use just people my age, because that would actually, in the real film, that would actually be what sort of age they would be. So I, I think the main characters I need to find is just the two of them. So yeah. More feedback, please. Thames? Yeah. Um, I think there's definitely um, really strong hints to the genre. Um, for example, I think um, the characters, um, like how they, they act, like the high five, I think that's really um, hinting towards the comedy, because you might think it's more of an action, but um, then it, it, that kind of takes it over more to the comedy side. Good. Um, was it, well, wasn't it a comedy horror? Sorry, so yeah, I said it was a comedy horror. How, but I don't, how does the horror come into it? Well, the, ho the horror is not actually in the main bit of film. I mean, it's not in the opening scene. You only see the horror in the opening film, in the main film, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, but... So it would need to be indicated in the titles, though, yeah. won't it? Yeah, but I also think that it may be heading towards action thriller, comedy action thriller yeah, instead. Yeah, I was going to say more action. Yeah, so I think it's actually, because the horror is so little in it, I think I'm going to go for thriller, because thriller is sort of like, it's slightly scary, but it's not an actual horror. So, yeah, I think it's it's not indicated in the actual opening scene if it's a horror or not. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, where it says, once a hero, always a hero, is that your log line or like... No, that's just a quirky little thing I just put in there, really. Because they did the review, you were like portraying it as like a question to the. It audience. is kind of. It's just like just to get people thinking because like they obviously portrayed as heroes in the opening scene, oh, yeah. and then as the film progresses, you'll see like they're pretty low, low um life, low life now, and like can they work back up, back up to like save mankind as it were? Um, so that's the sort of story behind that one. Um, what certificate would your movie be? Well, with that, it's just, it simply depends. In terms of the content, I think it'd be a 12A. But in terms of the swearing used by the characters, I think that would bring up to a 15. But regarding my target audience, I think I'd be better bringing the swearing down and keeping the target age at 12. Because obviously that's three years of people yeah. that I could keep watching my film. <coughs> and if you boys got any questions? Um, the action, how, like, how are you thinking of incorporating it other than just the, um, the motorbikes and catching the criminals, like for the rest well, of the film? Yeah, in the opening scene obviously I've got action included, yeah. but for the rest of the film, there'll sort of be about 30 minutes intro, or thereabouts, where it's sort of like showing their setting, showing what they're like now, and then as the zombie apocalypse, they because they basically realise that they've, they're in a zombie apocalypse, and because they're to show how sort of clumsy they are, they don't actually realise, but as the zombie apocalypse like proceeds and they start trying to save people and save mankind um, that's when we'll see more action from and that's how it's combined with the horror or thriller in this. That's good. Um, where's the police chase going to take place the police chase is going to take place obviously it can't be on roads because yeah. i can't film on roads and i close them so i was thinking maybe a country lane or a track because obviously then it would be over public no private land so i'd be able to film on that but I may, I may rethink the idea of the police chase um, in cars or motorbikes and may think of it more in terms of running just because it's like so hard. To get I think running might be a better idea. Yeah. yeah. And also, you, 
with a camera, you've got more opportunity to get some better shots yeah, when exactly. people are running. Yeah. Because we haven't got the equipment for you to, you know, have a car-based camera or yeah, I mean, you know something attached to a motorbike. Ideal, ideal, yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. But that's what this feedback's all about. Yeah. So. The running would bring like more comedy into it because, like, you know. Yeah, the that's pop true. Yeah. When um, like the two policemen are trying to like run and get the and, sword and, and jump over the, the fence. fence. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. Quite a funny bit. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.